When does your network marketing opportunity become a business? Hello, my name is Fernando, coming to you from Australia, and I want to talk about this because this is something that I think is a little bit misunderstood by people that are joining network marketing opportunities. They say, I have a business. To understand what a business is, I think there's no better place than to look at the uh, cash flow quadrant that was written by Robert Kiyosaki. Now, there are actually four different steps in the cash flow quadrant. The first is you're an employee. The second is you're self-employed, which is the left side. And then on the right hand side, you're going to have business owner and then investor. So what is the definition of a business owner? A business owner is somebody who is no longer trading time for money. So if you're, if you've joined the network marketing opportunity and you don't have a residual income every single month, whether you show up for work or not, then you don't actually have a business yet. What you have is a job. And so it's very interesting because when people get going in the network marketing opportunity, they actually treat it like a business. I'll do the work when I want to in my spare time if I get a chance because it's a business, it's a lifestyle business, but that's actually a misconception because it's not. So if you want to ensure success in your network marketing opportunity and actually have it be the business that provides that residual income that you want, you need to show up like a job as an employee. Set aside time that you're going to show up for your business. Allocate one to two hours a day. I recommend two hours. Have a specific action plan of what you're going to do in those two hours every day, five days a week. And what will happen is through consistent action, you start to develop habit patterns that will start to create momentum that in due course will start to produce the results that you want. And as you start producing those results, growing a team of distributors, getting customers, starting to create organizational volume, however your company measures it, then you start to get residual income. And then it won't matter whether you show up for your two hours today for work or not, you're going to have income coming in every month. Then you've got a business. Then you've transitioned from self-employed, uh, from employee or self-employed to business owner. What you actually are right now is self-employed. You're working, you've hired yourself, you've got to show up, do the work. If you take that mindset, you'll win the game. If you treat it like a business before it's a business, then you just become a statistic. I hope that makes a difference for you today.